Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Swin campaign. This is episode 14. We pick it up from turn 66 in the harvest season of 207. So last episode, uh, we ended by taking out Liu Bao's army here as he's working for Zheng Jiang now. And uh, Yuan Shao is still eyeing us down. He has two armies surrounding our city of or town of Luoyang. And uh, we have sent our ally as well as our new vassal in Gong Sun Zan on to Yuan Shao. So things should go pretty smoothly uh, as they are both decently strong. And uh, we're proceeding quite well uh, all across the map as well. So all we have to do uh, at the end of this turn is just to get the buildings done, get the shared expertise done, and we can proceed. So we're still going to focus on wherever we have the highest income first. Kind of want to wait for shaft mining. We can get it pretty soon, so I'm going to wait on that. Alright, nothing really going on here. Um, do we really need a private workshop? Yeah, I guess we do. And then we need an inn. So we'll wait for that as well. Alright, corruption reduction, faction uh, in adjacent commanderies. It's going to be very helpful here. Bossy. We're good on food. We actually have tons of food. So no rush for that either. Alright, get this to tier 2. I think I still want to upgrade to a small city first just to keep it... Oh, actually, they have a siege weapon. Right, so it doesn't actually matter that much. So maybe we'll get the food started first. Trading that away later. Salt mine can start upgrading right away. And a bunch of items from that fight. Uh, not really interested in any of the characters. Alright, we're going to continue to try to push Luojun's level to 8 so that we can get the bonus here of extra construction time and cost saving. Should be enough. That's the second shared expertise we pushed on him. Still not enough? Okay, pretty close. Uh, one more would do it. We get it next turn. And then we can uh, have him boost our construction costs a bit more. We remember to do that first before we do the build next turn. Or else there'll be savings that's going out of the window. Uh, army's fine. Uh, this army is just hanging out, waiting for, you know, bandits to show up next turn. By bandits, I mean yellow turban rebels. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we can definitely check our spy. She's recovering her points. And is there anyone else? Lu Bu. I think we're fine. Yeah. I think we're fine. Let's continue. Suyun comes of age. There's our sister. Been waiting for her. Alright, finest armor. Let's see, what do we get? Oh, we got a gold armor. Noble's right. This is our third commander gold armor. Which is actually quite amazing if you think about it. Because you can only get... So we're getting like the unique ones of each, right? Enduring Tortoise, Scam of the Peach Tree, and Noble's right. You can't, there's, because they're unique, as in like, they're actually unique. There's only one that will spawn in the game. So we're collecting all the commander armors. Uh, this one has a set bonus uh, with Swarm Brother, immune to uh, fear and terror. We don't actually have Swarm Brother, so that's not going to be really relevant. We also have the Guardian, but this we got from Luo Jun right away. And we got these from characters in our pool. So this is the first one we created ourselves. That's fine. Uh, it's nice. Let's see. This is our farmer. We'll get him reach first. And uh, we're going to do the share expertise first, like we said, so that we can get the cost savings when we do build. Wow. Still not. Oh, no. He leveled up. Just didn't. The icon didn't pop up. Now he did. We did it too fast. All right. Let's get flexibility, which will help reduce our redeployment costs as well since he is on the top tier of our imperial court so that bonus will apply and uh that's pretty much it 
in terms of our legacy of Wu missions now that our sister has joined us. Uh, oh, we're still waiting on this. We need two level four female sentinels. We have two female sentinels. Um, one's level three. And the other one's ready level four. So we probably want to boost her next turn with our shared expertise and we can complete this for 5% extra range damage and 5% attack rate for range units. And then our sister needs to gain rank until she's rank five. It's going to be a little slow. She's rank one. And uh, for Grandmaster, I believe the fact that we raised Luo Jun to level eight will actually, oh, it's close. We're eight, uh, seven points short. So we're probably going to need to grab trust or endurance on the next level for him to be at 160. Wow, he actually has all the right boost. It just he doesn't have enough base resolve. Yeah, only plus 25 here. Maybe it's just also lack of trait. He needs to pick up like one green, one more green trait. Yeah, he'll be there. Authority wise, we're short by a bunch. But she's only rank six, so maybe grab another few traits. Grab a few more skills. Okay. Well, our sister comes at a good time. Uh, this trade influence, faction support, trade influence is nice. Capture 10 regions with access to Yellow River. Okay, we only have Luoyang right now. We can put our sister, who's the only person that's not busy at our court. Because I believe Jujir... Oh, Jujir is also not busy. Interesting. Because he's up here as a minister. He's not showing up down here. But he's also free. But anyhow, we're going to add our sister. So she can gain some levels off this group of yellow turbans. And then we'll pull her back. We'll find her a, a better job. We now also have three unique bows. Hmm. Pretty great. Right, nice and easy. Gonna grab her out. We can do an all girls army. Uh, Sun Ren, Da Qiao, Xiao Qiao, and have them walk around with uh, Sun Ce. And they can do like a double army going north. All right, we'll do all the buildings last. That way we have all our money ready. Out west, Zhang Ji can die. Oh, he... He got wounded from what? Attrition? I mean, his faction can end himself now. Goodbye. Wow, how did they inflict 6 damage? Alright, finally faction destroyed. And we're making a move towards Luoyang. We don't need to move too close. Where is Gaoshun's army? It's a little concerning. We knew they were here, but then now they're just gone. Alright. This group can slowly move up, because I don't know. Okay, so they're flooding this way. So Yuan Shao has three armies in this area. His wife, Chen Yu, Xu Yu. Where is his, uh, you know, generals, the ones that can fight? All he has is a bunch of nobodies. Where's Wen Liang? Where's Yuan Shao? Anyhow, they can fill up the gap here, defend the lumberyard a little bit, and then over here we can get our beloved temple. Alright, I don't know what are we going to do about Coron's army. They're not that strong. And they're just running across the map blindly with our spy. I really 
want to wipe out Lü Bu though to free up our uncle. He has a city here, and he also has a lumber yard. So that's two territories here, and then I think he has the trade port, and that's it. So we can potentially wipe him out, assuming that Gaoshun's army is not just randomly capturing territories elsewhere. And it seems like Yuan Shao doesn't even have that much land. This is controlled by Cao Cao. That's very interesting. What is Cao Cao's attitude toward us? Not bad. What does he feel about a vassal position? Wait. Okay, he doesn't like it. What about joining? No, he doesn't want. Mm. He might just have to die. I mean, he's not gonna say yes to that. High Empire We're gonna declare war on them soon enough. Liu Zhang had enough. We haven't had enough of him though. I could use this military access, because turns out Cao Cao controls this and not Yuan Shao. And it seems like he's willing to pay us. Oh, he's maybe cash. Yeah, maybe oh uh, two five hundred is too much. Maybe two hundred something. Okay, two fourteen. I'll take that. All right, back to the west. So their garrison here. We can't ignore it anymore. We have to wipe this army off before we can take the capital. Or else they'll just retake the salt mines. So. Alright, they're not willing to face us in a fort. Open field battle? A little bit too much forest, but... They retreated one, so this will make this fight quite easy. Alrighty, turned out to be pretty good. No... Uh, trees blocking the way between our armies and uh, the fog is a little annoying but not game changing enough we'll just take this um, position on this hill actually kind of uh, I don't know if we should be before that or after that brush actually it's even better here Yeah, that's good enough. Ooh. There we go. Now, do they have enough cavalry to actually charge us? Do they have cavalry? Oh, they have two. Alright, two shot cavalry. They're not going to survive our archers, so... I'm actually pretty confident to just lay them out front. Now the problem with the extra 15% range block chance is I can't really put them in shield wall anymore. So they're just going to have to stay in regular formation. We'll hide these guys. Let's call these guys three. Call these two. We'll keep them back here. Oh, we also have towers. Hmm. I'm just gonna protect the rear flank like that. We're gonna have to go out first. They're not gonna see us in the fog. Hmm. No. Pull him back a little. Oh, the trebuchet killed the cavalry. Interesting. Uh, also, no. Not now. I want to kill him with my bow. I'm waiting for it to stack up, but I've been moving him a little bit too much. Or we can shotgun him as he run up to us. Actually, that's not a bad plan. Now. Oh, we saw that? That's the shotgun move. You just gotta time it right. Alright, and we're at what? Actually, they can, they can fire well. T1 
tier four. We're waiting for it to hit phase five. Come on. Oh my god, I don't want to move. Alright, phase five. Now let's see how much our arrow does. 3k each. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. I don't want to move, but we have to now. Oh, she has stock. She disappears. She's a bandit. Well, another shotgun move. Oh, it's going to friendly fire. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth a friendly fire. You know what? Let's make it easy on her. Cab recharge. And I want to throw some fire bombs at units with Huang Gai. Now these things don't do much damage, but it knocks the enemy to the ground. Kind of just locks them down in place. And also does like a, a bit of fire damage, so it kind of hurts their morale as well. So you can take a look at this. Boom! And they all fall down. They don't die. They get up, but like it's a temporary CC with fire, and now they burn. And then that unit's done. It's a fun move. Now, did she raced it? Because the cavalry, you know, with our charge bonus. General's just ghost poof. Actually, we want to capture her if she's a bandit. Another poison volley character. Don't we win this? Oh, wow. They have other. They have a. Nah, we should win this. That should route. Come on, hit it with a tribuchet shot. There we go. Oh, they bounce back. Aren't you guys cute? There we go. Alrighty. Now I hope Liu Zhang has more armies, and this isn't the only thing he has. Yeah, he has an armor smith, so he should have his generals pretty well equipped. Yang Huai. This is the fake Liu Zhi. I think she's a bandit, just because she also has a bandit unit. So I'm going to employ her. Please, I think we'll just execute, actually. If we release him, he's going to go defend Yang, uh, Jiang Yang. I don't. I mean, I could employ him, but I really don't need more vanguards. We have so many vanguards. So, I mean, he's 68. We'll let him go back and die peacefully. Now, right, let's check out this girl. She better be a bandit. Saboteur? Saboteur could be a bandit or could be a regular person. Alright, good. So we got a bandit character, but she her skills are really off. But she's also tier 4, so we don't even need to give her the level up. With her and Lu Ji, we have um, two tier 4 female sentinels for Sun Ren's mission. Alright, I'm going to stroll back over here, attack Chengdu. Anything new? She's another bandit, but she could be a spy, so we're going to pass on her. Wow, we picked up so many other things. Um, that armor is useful, though, for increasing our administrator's bonuses. Oh, and the horse. Wow. And the horse. Uh, he already, uh, We've been giving them brown horses for population growth, which is fine. Just wonder if someone doesn't have a horse, we can give them one first. Okay, that's okay. Alright, so this army's done. Sun Quan, the yellow turban hunt. <laughs> They're just hunting yellow turbans right now. They'll get more interesting fight as we send them south uh, into... I don't know if we're ever fighting them, though. Maybe we just don't have our Silk Empire. We will take out the High Empire, though, so they have to fight those. Are they becoming aggressive towards us? Because they have absolutely no health. 
No one's guarding it? It's a little disappointing. They had a full stack nearby. Alright, so we're going to attack the High Empire going forward. We're going to move to here. And then we're going to attack this, attack this, come down, attack this, attack this, attack the rest of this. Alright, this is our one super busy army. Uh, Adobe has an army nearby. They're making... Alright, they don't need help here. We might actually cross. I don't think we need to come back and defend. Or we can come back and ambush, actually. I just realized we can be like in ambush range really easily. And set it. Why can't we ambush here? We have over 30. Why can't we ambush here? We have over 25%. That's nonsense. Okay, that's really nonsense. Right, we'll just be in the city then. She did it across the river because it was close enough to be in town's range. I guess we couldn't ambush because we were so close. It was basically we were in the town. That's how we got through here on March and be able to change back. So we could ambush here. But 20%. Wow, oh, we wasted so many movements. Hmm. I don't know. Do I want to defend the town? Liu Bei will help us if we get attacked. So I guess we can just sit here. I, I'd rather sit outside, to be honest. It's too dangerous being in the garrison when they attack you. That's how you get wiped. Alright, that's fine. This should actually go for a tall build, too. Let's do it. Hmm. This is fine. We got this building for free. It's kind of hard to get rid of it. It's not worth getting rid of it, basically. Hmm. Food and then maybe a forge. Keep it simple here. Don't go for income. this right away. Alright, get our satisfaction up. Alright, things look pretty good. Uh, let's check out the spy situation here. Mm. I mean, the guy who we release and beat wants to turn himself over to us, but we don't need him. Yeah, we're good. Let's just continue here. We actually saved up quite a bit of money. Okay, so they are coming to attack us on the path rather than let us take the trade port, which isn't theirs in the first place, but they can't beat us. Even the AI think they'll lose. I'm not very happy with this army. I said, like, I'm not sure I want to fight this on the battlefield. Like, we would have to snipe this thing, either with our trebuchet or with a general. And then we just have to tank up their charge. Mm, we should still fight it. It'd be cleaner if we fight it than just delegate. 
Oh, it's raining. Okay, we're gonna approach this kind of like a uh, ambush battle in a sense. Because we don't have any cavalry. We can surprise them. Let's see, what terrain do we want to use? Maybe just set up our trebuchets like all the way up here. And then we'll hide our... Hmm, there's not many... We can't deploy on this side, which is annoying. Uh, we can also... No, it's not nice. I think this isn't bad. And then they have to go through all this forest, which we can hide our units. We don't have fire arrows or flaming shot. Dashu, you're a little useless here. They can't fire it much at this distance. Mm, let me rethink this. Alright, this is fine. What if we hide the archers for like a crossfire here? So whoever comes in here, we just pop them with the archers. And then just in case we have people coming this way with the cavalry, we just put some spikes here. We'll burn this piece of land here. Build a tower. And now it's about hiding all our other guys. Maybe a little too far out. Not sure. One of them is not hidden. There we go. Okay. I forgot if she had bravery unlocked or not, so I don't know if she has charge uh, charge negate. So I don't know if I should put them in the front or not. I right, put that in reserve. She can duel. He can light a fire and then do a bunch of roars. Let's go try to find that siege weapon. Alright, we're going we're gonna to duel her right away. Oh, he has... Mm, he has wisdom in the river. We need to draw the duel away from the battle. We don't want to get charged either. Alright, hopefully the strategists stay out of it. Alright, they're moving through this part largely. Shouldn't they get shot? We're just missing? And no one's dying here. Alright, at least he's staying away from the duel, which means we should be able to win this. We have Tenacity of Steel. She doesn't, so that's a big advantage. She has Othorn though. Hmm. With who? The strategist or the commander? I'll let them take their time. We basically make sure they had nothing to hit with their range units until they walked into the forest. 
Alright, so he's the O-Thorn. Oh, so is he. Great. No dueling. So this way we can kind of disable their range units. Ooh, it's a lot of cavalry. We'll let them overcharge. We'll probably charge into this MT flat. And then we'll play try to counter charge them a little bit. Alright, Archer is starting to fire. Be patient, be patient. I think now is the time. Go. Fill it up, fill it up. Alright, cavalry's ready here. They'll fill up the gap here. We'll roar on them. Charge this way. Mm, want to charge in there and roar. There we go. Come on, roar. Alright, stay on that. Oh, oh, that's not good. Flank them. Alright, the strategy is coming to attack us. Hmm. Our attack kind of failed. Our ambush tactic didn't work. But we'll bounce back. Some of these units will, will bounce back and we'll be able to re rear charge them. So it's not over yet. They just lit it on fire and they have a siege weapon behind. Are we losing to him? Can we just ignore him and fire this guy? Alright, go fill up the gap there. Same thing here. He can chase this one to make sure he doesn't come back. We'll sacrifice our range and fight this zone right here. We were basically too spread out. It's by some distance this way. Fire back. Dash, you got wiped out as well? Wow. Not going well. Alright, we'll try to pull some distance. Attack this part. Alright, take care of that. How are we losing here to these Saber Militias? There we go. team that guy charge back oh man come on we're routing with 88 men how come Alright, 
Oh, he's routing too. Mm, it's not going to help. He has 100 extra damage, 25 extra melee evasion. We got debuffed by the Wisdom of the River. Alright, they're back. Alright, defend here. Go back here as well. Uh, I don't know if I can beat him. But we'll try. We need some help to win this. Spear wall. Are we on foot? Oh crap, we're on foot. Roar? Are you serious? We can't... Three of us can't beat one Jama Jian. Alright, we're gonna take this guy out with our weapon fire uh, uh, arrows. And hopefully we can hold this area with shield wall formation. Our generals bounce back again. We can maybe get another roar in. Alright, she's having a hard time, but she's only getting stronger. My point. Oh, he's unbreakable as well. We'll hang in here. Alright, now we'll see if we can fire at him. Ah, uh, this position routed. Ah, it's over. It's gonna be hard to come back. How did we lose this? Yeah, I knew it when we didn't have cavalry. Should have just delegated for the win. I mean, their units are all high rank, like rank six. So it's. They're experienced troops. Alright, they routed. Oh, our general's dead. Hmm. We definitely lost this one. Maybe we can do some damage back to them. Right, we got skirmish mode on. So depending on how they chase us, we could scatter for a little bit. And depending on how they chase. Oh, don't don't run away by yourself. It's not smart. All right, fire. All right, skirmish mode off. Fire. Ah, uh, all right, we lost. That was not nice. All right, we're gonna lick our wound and come back.
Oh, Gong Sun Zan wants to marry our sister. Nice thinking, but no deal here. Alright, Duji was captured but released. Interesting. Alright, we got the bonus, we got a weapon. Ancestral Pledge. Perfect. Been waiting for some spear weapon so that Joltai can take it. Well, actually, Joltai can't wait. The leader need his fix first. Um, so this situation over here, it's unfortunate, uh, but it's not unsalvageable. We can technically go and destroy them right now, or we can rest up. I guess we rest up. I want to give them a proper army. Alright, this this is the issue right here. He needs to get rank 5. And once he's rank 5, we can recruit some real cavalry on him. Yeah, I think we'll go with this. Uh, I don't. I don't think we need to swap. I think we can just re like delete and recruit, because they're gonna be fully mustered anyways. All right, there we go. They'll bounce back in one to two turns. If it takes, actually, you know, since they do take long. There, that's ready to fight. Two turns. You know what? We have the money. We're not gonna wait around. Alright, we don't really need siege weapons now that we have cavalry. Ready for a rematch. Very soon. Alright, so they are running down here. We definitely have night battle. We also have some help. They're both on march, so they can't run anywhere. So we'll be able to fight that uh, soon. Konro has quite a few armies actually over here. I'm surprised. I think we take the iron mine. This is Zamba's last, ter last territory, so it should wipe him out. Uh, you know, disregarding his army that's running around doing nothing, raiding. Nobody's probably gonna wipe him. He has a silver horse. Oh my God! Zheng Jiang's axe. I want that. Okay, there's got to be a way for us to get that. Sun Ren can do a raid. Alright, we're going to get that axe. We're going to first recruit her. That's kind of our irrelevant character. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to get rid of her retinue. Can we reach? Yes, we can. Okay. Now, we don't want the army to be too strong so that they get scared off. Oh, Yuan An Yue. Han An Yue. Zhu Zhi can come out. Just to assist her a little bit. Oh, did we lose movement because he came out? Okay, so I think if we recruit just cavalry, they won't. Oh, she's only rank one. No mercenary calves. All right, in that case, uh, can we beat it with just generals? It's 
not very safe, that's for sure. No one's rank 5 here either that we can just use. Like if we recruit infantry... Oh, you know what? We can do this. That's our territory too. Backspace. Nope. Backspace. That didn't work. Um... We messed that up. I'm just gonna just dump this. And then we'll dump some range. Okay, they ran. Oh, please, Liu Bei. Liu Bei, are you at war with Zambat? You're not, right? Oh, dear lord. I want that axe. I mean, we can't do anything about it at this point. We're stuck with this situation. Uh, didn't take that care. It didn't take care of that well. Uh, oh well. We're gonna hold here for a turn. And they're going to hold here for a turn. I guess next spring is going to be where all the big battle is. But we have a big battle with this. Alright, so now with Yuan Shao's other two armies. Well, this is our more seasoned army. I mean, we're going to do night battle for one of them. It's probably going to be this one. Let's go. Alrighty, loaded up in here. Let's hope this battle goes better. Uh, terrain once again is super weird. We're in this down slope, which I don't like. And we are in stuck between trees, which takes away our range advantage. Makes me want to try to push my men out this way a little bit if we can. Not sure if that's a good idea though. Like we can go here and just make a run for it a little bit. Our siege weapon is going to move super slow in the snow though. So it might be a terrible idea. But so is deploying them here, you know? Like they're just going to be charging downhill right at us. And we can't like fire uh, incline with these uh, crossbows anyways. We could also abandon our siege entirely. Let them just flee from the battlefield from the beginning. Which might be a viable strategy, actually. We don't technically need them, and we don't want them to die here. And we can fight with this group. We can try that. Hmm... Might regret it, but let's try that. So abandon, retreat, run over here. Basically, don't want to fight downhill. 
So if we could pull into this position, it would be pretty nice. Just, it's really slow in the snow. Alright, let's go distract them a little bit, perhaps. They don't actually have vision on us, so... We might actually be able to pull that off. Where are they? I don't see the enemy at all. I mean, if we have this... Oh, I see them. If we have this much time, we might as well even move above here. Yeah, they also move slow. Okay. We could maybe even take the high ground right here. Okay, they're coming from sort of a slope. guy actually She's willing to duel us. Alright, I'm going to take her out of the battle. Because she has the block arrow ability. Alright, send her, send her away. Alright, Tweak it a little bit. Uh, no, her ability doesn't matter. It doesn't activate. The cavalry's all on that side. Don't go easy on her. Now they do have melee cav, which is good against archers. But, but I think we'll still hit them with the archers. We got tons of ammo. 
There's no need to save them. Yeah, we'll still overwhelm them. Whoa, that was quick. Alright, good luck getting a charge through to us. Defenders of Earth. Okay, so they have all the Emperor units, but very short range. Alright, you guys can stop firing and hit our own units. Like, look at that. Killing our own guys. How poor is your aim over there? Alright, aim at the front. We're good here. Oh my god. Do I have to do everything here? Alright. Yeah, we'll take another one. Halt. He does have ability, but it's fine. I think we should still be able to beat him. Good. Make sure they don't get close. They fire bomb arrows or oil arrows, whatever they call it. It's basically miniature tribuches. Alright, they should be dead after that volley lands. See militia. Can you guys stop moving forward? That defeats the purpose of our spear line. Protector of Heaven, Warrior of Year. Right, all these elite infantry with no range block chance. Alright, come back. See, they're walking up, even though on guard mode. Ah, move them back. Alright, we got this. Can he survive this barrage? Maybe not. He's dead. Alrighty. That went a lot better than our last fight against Renshaw's troops. So giving up the siege weapons wasn't that bad of an idea. Now this is Yuan Shao's dear wife. We'll send her back. Alright, 
Now he's next. We will not be night battling this. Because we want to just wipe them both. Let's go. Alrighty, uh, we load up in here. They do have a siege weapon, so that is true. Our reinforcements coming from f pretty far behind. Um, we're mainly going to fight with this army. The terrain still not very favorable. I think we just favored this side a little bit. Still uphill into the snow. I would say this is just pretty bad terrain overall. All right, I can't be too close to the front because they have siege weapons too. So we'll just do a pretty simple setup. Just to make sure the enemy cavalry can't overrun us. I don't think I have to worry about enemy range units hitting us just yet. Right. Kind of protect our line here a little bit. Now these guys are the ones we're going to micro quite a bit. Hmm. We'll start them here, maybe. If we get most of them hidden. There we go. Handong. Oh, we'll send Zhang Liao up. Handong stay with the main group in case they get close. I don't know if we're actually going to stop anyone with this. We can try. Right, let's go. Alright, so Lord Jun is going to head this way. Tiger Guards is going to head over here. These two, same thing as last time, just go chill. Alright, this group has no generals. Interesting. So I guess we go with them and we charge at the main group. He will do the dueling. They're probably going to go closer to them before they come over. Yeah, they're not going to budge until we take out their siege weapon. Where did they hide their siege weapon? Hey, where did the siege weapon... Oh, there we go. We see it. Okay. No wisdom of the river, so we're good there. He's not even in range to debuff us. We can still use our ability. Mm. Oh, we're killing her really quick. We hit her with that ability. Now the question is, can we get out of their cavalry's way? Because it looks like he's going to charge us. I want their army to react to that. Can we slowly kill her? No rush. Give John out some time. Yeah, she's gonna die. Ah, we kill her. 
Alright, drawn down to charge through the side. Their cavalry is coming after us. Their generals are mad at us. Now, can we get back on the horse before we die here? Come on. I gotta bust that siege weapon. Are we on horse? Alright, let's get out of here. Into the siege weapon. Roar! Alright, get out. Well, Jun, you poor guy. Hey, in here. Just get rid of that siege weapon, even if they beat you. How are we going to get out of this mess? Can we get out? Do we still have our horse? Oh, we don't have our horse anymore. Alright, then it's pretty much over for us. Not going to be able to hide out, get out of this. Mm. Alright, Lord Jun's gonna fall. Yeah, stupid Yuan Shao doesn't want to duel. Yeah, he's just gonna die. It's fine. We did some damage to Yuan Shao there. Might pick up a bad trait. Can't do much about it. We'll, we'll roar a few more times. See if we can get him to route. Get out. And capture this. Oh, he didn't die. He routed. That's perfect. It's the best outcome. Come on, let us capture it. Move out. If he chases us, he won't recapture it. This is where we can use Zhou Tai, you know. Poor guy is stuck with Sun Quan. Brother asked him as a bodyguard. Waste of a talent. Alright, so I know he bounced back, but really we want him to hide. He's done enough. Now we can't roar because he's right there. But if we could like hit a unit in the front. Ooh. Guess what we found. Fire. Ooh, is Yuan Shao burning? That fool. I just don't dare to run into that. Feels like we run into that, we lose our horse, and we end up like Lord Jun. What if we stand right here, let them attack us? There we go. Roar. Come on, kill a few guys. Ah, annoying spear guards. We're not going to be able to do much here. Do we have any other way to force them to come towards us? I don't think so. We can suicide our cavalry in there, but I don't see what advantage that gives us. Oh, keep kite kiting. We basically have to keep going back to see if we can take down that trebuchet. So that they will be willing to charge at us. Hmm. Let me go hide in this forest, quote unquote hide. Does this disappear from vision? There we go. Yeah, 
Yet everything's disappeared from vision. No, he's he's invisible. Why are you visible? Poor guy. You should be invisible. Alright, maybe I have an opening into the trebuchet. There we go. Come on. He has no damaging ability yet. Just if he had a splash attack. Oh my god. We barely hit them for anything. There we go. This guy's blocking our roar. We don't do any damage. We whacked at them like three times. They're still at night. They're still like full health. Basically what they came in at. Uh, we'll lead them into the spikes. That might actually kill more of them. What if we do this? They follow us? Uh, I don't know. What do we do about the trebuchets? We took out one. They're still very far from our range. If we could lure them there, it would also work. They're still waiting for these guys. Yeah, maybe they will actually just chase us. Yeah, they'll, they'll probably just chase us into our siege range. Come on, follow. Nobody want a piece of this? Oh, they capture the tower back. It's a little annoying. Can we roar? No, can't roar. Oh, we can't actually. I think they're they're gonna be the, the cavalry might actually chase me into the range. I think they will. Finally, they're coming, boys. I did my job. Handong, go light a flame. See, the more they move, the more behind the siege weapon it should be. Where is it? Should be in these trees, shouldn't it? Given how. Oh, there we go, found it. Now they have a splash damage, or he, do, he has a splash damage. Alright, this is much better. Let's get a couple of manual fires in here. Smash their trebuchets before they smash ours. Ah, close. Next volley. Come 
Come on, cheating out that little range with our manual aim. There we go. Wait, that didn't kill it? There we go. Where do you think you're going? Okay, I think we'll hold. Let him charge. Once we kill it, they should all start charging forward. Come on. Smash the ground, smash the ground. There we go. Problem solved. Alright. They should be suiciding into us any moment now. See how we can extend the range by manual firing? Because <laughs> it miss overshoots. But why are they not charging us? Come on, that doesn't count as having siege weapons. There's 24 men walking around pretending to be a siege weapon. We can annihilate that. Fine, we will. Fire well. They actually don't have many range units left. Now we're afraid of this one. So after that we're pulling. Well, actually we'll pull towards our units. How does Yuan Shao Troop have such high morale? Like that's how we lost our earlier battle. He has like 17 men still staying so strong. Alright, we'll lead them into our firing range. I'm gonna kill all their range. I don't know if they're still gonna stay here. And the problem is we're gonna run out of ammo. But I think they're finally charging. Alright, pull. Uh, took us a while. This is a long episode. Had to make the AI work with us here. All they got is infantry now. I want to see my volleys.
Oh, my fire. I forgot about that. Here comes Onyx Dragons. It's New Year's fireworks. Slide it up, please. Now, these guys have pretty decent armor. We probably should have just done with regular arrows, but fire arrows just look so much better. Alright, take the crossbowmen down. Flank them. Cavalry. Come get ready to erase Renshaw. Actually, eh, we'll kill the general. It's probably the easiest thing to do for our cavalry. It's hard to get through all this mess, though. We'll have him take care of that. We'll take care of that zone right there. Push! Rear charge, we can wipe them out. Alright, Yuan Shao, who has unbreakable, go get him. <laughs> wow, he's surrounded. Everyone after him. <laughs> Got him. Alright, long fight. My gosh. Alrighty, we finally got the man. Genshaw is finally down. Bruin officer, we'll take that. And we captured Genshaw as well. Uh, he's been locking our abilities, but we can't kill him. He doesn't have any items, so we're just going to release. Now. Emperor Yuan Shao. I think his time is up. I think we take his head after that long fight. We deserved it. So that was a nice payoff for such a long fight. Uh, we executed uh, Yuan Shao, and now his kingdom is going to be much weaker. I think I don't know who takes over Yuan Xi. Uh, Yuan has not in his faction i believe so we'll come back uh, next episode as we are probably going to make the crossing into the north and over here we're probably going to finish up with liu zhang and then we'll also finish up lu bu next episode as well and then we'll make a push 
towards the kingdom of Liang, hiding all the way over here in Wu Wei. Now, the best uh, route to him is probably a naval route. So we might actually send uh, a general into the river here to take the river route towards him while we clean up his armies on the field. So that's it. Uh, we are going to go for uh, the conclusion here uh, as we move north uh, with the south largely pacified. Uh, our brother is still here doing some work, but easy work, giving him the easy jobs. So see you guys next time. Bye.